Some of you, I, I've, ha I've had uh, friends who say, Thomas, you're such a risk taker. You started your own game studio. That's crazy. And I say, I'm not a risk taker. I had $100,000 in the bank when I started, when I quit my job. Like that is not, and I, I was making 38 a year. That's not risk taking at all. It's actually kind of like a much smarter bet. Jonathan says, I'm working full time and studying for a master's degree. At the same time, I'm in a career I realized I'm not passionate about. Do I start making video games? Man, you know, I, I think that uh, I'm a big fan of finishing things. And this is coming from somebody who struggles sometimes to finish things, okay? So I would highly recommend for those of you who are in a, a career path right now, uh, or mainly an education path, Primarily, so like if you're in college, finish your degree, all right? If you're in high school, finish your degree. Don't make any crazy decision. This is something I try and tell all of my students and I tell people all the time on my channel, do not quit your job with no plan, okay? Some of you, I, I've, ha I've had uh, friends who say, Thomas, you're such a risk taker. You started your own game studio. That's crazy, and I say, I'm not a risk taker. I had $100,000 in the bank when I started, when I quit my job. Like that is not, and I, I was making 38 a year. That's not risk taking at all. It's actually kind of like a much smarter bet. Kickstarter, publishers, or, or monetizing your game while you make it. I'm a fan of it because I believe that you should have at least six months of salary or a year of salary. Six to six months to a year of salary to, to be able to quit your job to make games full time. I don't even recommend you do it with your first game, honestly. I recommend you, you make a couple really crappy short games. One of my students, he's a friend of mine now on Discord, uh, <clears throat> his strategy is to make crappy games for six months. So I think it's like two crappy games in six months. That's awesome. Like that's a great plan. And then when you're on that game where you where you know how to make games and you've got a really hyper polished demo, that's when you begin finding funding. Okay, so the, so this raised a, you know a hundred thousand dollars on Kickstarter, not because I was even close to being done with it. It was just a demo, right? But the demo was polished, and it's really hard to make a polished demo that feels amazing and feels great to play when you haven't at least released some crappy games. So I say one or two crappy games before you make your polished prototype that is used to secure funding, okay? I don't want you guys to try and catch a shark until you've caught a couple bass first, okay? That's, that's a good metaphor for you. In fact, that's a really good metaphor, Thomas. Way to go, buddy. Two bass, then a shark. Now you don't make a shark, right? You make really good bait to get that shark. The bait is the demo. The bait is the prototype. The bait is the pitch deck. <clears throat> but this is my pitch deck. You have your trailer, you have your plot summary, you have some cool screenshots, right? You have an, introdu an introductory video. You have who you are. You have your gameplay, you have the hook. You just sort of give an outline. Why should a publisher give you half a million dollars? I don't want you pitching a thing until you've caught a couple fish first. And what that means is it means that you've released some crappy games, okay? It's sort of your, well, I mean, it's your. It's like your boot camp, all right? I had to go through it. I had to release crappy games before I did this one. I had crappy games that I had released before I did this one. I mean, can you imagine trying to sign a deal with Apple Arcade or make a Nintendo Switch game and not know what you're doing? That said, you can go full time with just a demo, okay? All right guys, this was super duper fun. I appreciate you showing up. And by the way, if you wanna join the Ultimate Game Dev Course, which is me and Jason Wyman, who's a AAA veteran, I'm an indie. If you wanna learn the indie side and the AAA side, click the link below, join the program. I would love to see you guys there. There's only 50 seats left. And so if you're interested in joining, click the link below. It's huge and you're gonna learn C Sharp, Unity, 2D and 3D art, and also just the business side of AAA and Indie. So if you're interested, click the link below. 50 seats available, it does end very, very soon here. So be sure to check it out.